Yes, I can give you a quick tour of some of the swords from my collection here at the dojo. I have a lot at home as well. I can't go over all of these because it would take many hours, but for those who asked, here they are. Here are some Yaito swords. And we go up the rack here, there's more. All kinds of different types, shapes of Suba guards. There's some sharper swords up there. There's a huge Nodachi up there. So as you can see, that's one rack. I don't know how many are on there. We have a giant Yari spear up there. Here's some more. Giant Odachi, very, very super, super long. It's kind of a Nagamaki Ogatana there. Look how wide that blade is. Those are all sharp. All of these are sharp up here. Different katana of different sizes, different makes, different backgrounds. So This is some of the swords here. Some makizashi, all different types of ska handles, different colors, certainly different qualities, different lengths of swords. So there's about 20 there. We'll move down. Here's a bunch more. you can see most of these are Iaito they're non-sharp and we use these in class in our Kenjutsu and Iaito classes that we do here at the dojo so these swords are used by the students that they can borrow so you don't have to buy a sword at the dojo in order to train we'll provide you with one that you can borrow and use if you take care of it, although we beat the hell out of these. There's some more up there. There's a Tachi, a Ninja To. The ones with the red rings are sharp blades, so we tell the students, please don't touch those. As you can see, that Tachi on the second one down is an old style sword that you would wear on horseback. So all these different types here, I'll go over these quick for you again. So you can see more detail of the handles and the Suba. All these are pretty unique. Pretty cool, huh? I could look at this stuff all day. And then these are Boken, but they're made of plastic. And I recommend these. You can buy these on Amazon, online. You know, they're, what I like is this pre-molded handle here is really good for gripping. Although that one there has hockey tape. Some of these have scabbards, saya on them, so you can practice drawing your sword, but these are quite safe. We use these to hit each other with in Kenjutsu class. But those plastic ones, I really wish I had those when I was a kid. So there's a rack of those. There's some more wooden yari there. There's a giant naginata up there. Tessen. All kinds of stuff here. Moving down to Boken, these wooden swords, different kinds of red oak, white oak, bamboo. Varying qualities, some with scabbards, some without. Some leather suba. Saburito, these big oak wooden practice oars here that I use to build strength in forearms and wrist. So those are twice as heavy as a regular bow can, called Saburito, these practice swords. And again, these are all different styles of schools and lineages, different lengths depending on the period of history you're in. Moving down, there's some more spear on the wall, wooden spear. Some more Boken. Ipe wood. 
It's one from Buki. Super long battle sword. Different qualities of wood from different places. A couple of these are from Scandinavia. Some from Japan, some from the US, some from China, all over. And again, we use these in a lot of our classes. And then hanbo, lots of hanbo here. Three foot sticks that we use for self-defense. Some more wooden naginata there. Big pole arm weapons. We don't use those much in the winter. We use those more in the summertime outdoors. Some padded hanbo so we can really hit hard and do some of the locks, joint locks with each other without breaking our arms. More swords over here. These are all for sale. So people come in off the street or they sometimes mail order these. These are all high quality swords that you can buy. Most of these are razor sharp. A couple of them are Iaito. Like that brown one there, is, that's an EI sword that's non-sharp. Steel. That's an EI toe, that white one there, that's an unusual one. This gray wolf sword is sharp, razor sharp. Wakizashi's razor sharp. And this is a EI Wakizashi here, so I'll back up a little so you can see those. Up top is a Shokosugi ninja toe which is also razor sharp up there. Rope fundo we use. Those are for sale there. That represents the chain, the kusari fundo of the samurai, but we use ropes so we don't hurt each other. More swords, so many. That's called the earth sword at the top, all earth colors. That one's sharp. The second one down is a Japanese Yaito from Japan. That's the sword of Michonne from Walking Dead there. All leather, white leather. There's a blue non-sharp steel sword. This is kind of a cheap Kudoi Hanabe sharp katana there, that red one with the gold. There's a forged katana there that's high quality steel with the gold and the suba and the maroon saya. Here's a blue non-sharp Yaito. That's a handsome sword. They're all beautiful in their own way. Here's a gold one of Damascus steel, black steel, with an unusual saya that's all wrapped. And down here is another sharp, kind of low range katana. So as you can see, all these swords there. you can see behind the Yori armor there's a couple of real Naginata laying against the wall there those have sharp blades bunch of Joe here these kind of medium staves we're using those tonight in weapons class we have a weapons class every Tuesday there's a beautiful wooden Naginata some more Joe which we'll get out later those are about four feet in length bow which are six to seven feet depending on your height these long staves here six feet and that one's seven feet which i use because i'm taller another wooden naginata another naginata some more bow six foot this here is one of those walking sticks you might have seen on the internet, the ones that are made of steel that you can take apart and they have different hidden spears and knives inside the handle and you can twist it off and reconfigure it. I like that thing, it's solid steel. Here's a real Yari spear, Juji spear there. Don't use that, that's just for decoration. Some more Naginata with aluminum alloy blade there. I use that in some of my demos. This is another, another Naginata. 
Kabuto Wadi, that's a 17th century Yari head. Jute, all kinds of knives. Here are some fundo chains, all different lengths and sizes. Silver, black, classical, modern. And the ropes that we use for safety. Some more fundo made of pig iron. Beautiful weapons, some kama here. All kinds of weapons in the corner. As you can see, weapons everywhere in every corner. More jute, takagi hand claws, shuriken of different shapes and sizes. Kunai, giant shuriken, tagakure shuriken, bow shuriken. All different kunai and styles. More jute on the right with the red tassel. So much weaponry. So there's some of the swords and weapons of the dojo. There's more, but again, we'd be here forever. But that's a quick tour of the swords for those of you who have asked. Please, uh, to inquire about buying any of these would take forever. So just assume if you come to the dojo, you can buy some, but these are really not for sale. These are part of my personal collection and I keep the higher end swords that I own at home in my safe under lock and key. These are just swords that we use every day at the dojo. So thanks for watching everybody for this quick sword tour. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe these videos and we'll do more of them when people ask. Have a great day everybody and safe training to you and your friends. Bye bye.